Hi guys, Erica here, and I wanted to share what I got at the Natural Hair Expo, and I wanted to share some notes to self, some epiphanies, and a few milestones. And I'll start with the milestones because today, um, or this week, I am five months natural. And this also marks the one year anniversary since my last relaxer. So I am, as of this week, one year post relaxer. Um, as far as what I have learned, not as much as I should have. I should have taken more time with just my natural hair at the beginning of the year after I did my big chop. But, you know, the length freaked me out so I pretty much kept my hair in Nubian twists except for maybe six weeks over the last I'm going to say six months and I have had my hair out for a while now and I don't intend to put the Nubian twists back in this year I'm going to wear my hair for the rest of the year um, and just wear a lot of updos I don't think I've had one time where I've worn my hair down at all but one of my um, epiphanies was that I need to get used to styling my hair without really combing it. Now I don't really comb my hair but even as far as styles that need a lot of detangling because the second that my hair dries it sort of intertwines. It's easy to get it back apart without breakage but I would rather not do that every day. I needed to be able to keep my hair in a style all week long which I hadn't been able to do until last week. And I also needed to have styles that when I was changing the style didn't involve me doing a lot of raking through the hair with my fingers. Like for example, any kind of braids or that sort of thing, you have to have a certain amount of detangling done before you can pull those off. And I was doing far too much detangling just with my fingers, but it was still, it seemed like too much manipulation for me. So last week, and this is really falls into the category of another milestone, is I wore style all week long. That didn't involve me doing much to it as far as manipulation, and I got to change it every day. It was, it was kind of neat, but just to recap, I put in, um, I put my hair like it is now at the beginning of the week, and then, which is just the little pump, the little pompadour, and then, uh, soft bun in the back and I put my hair in this style on Monday and Tuesday I took the bangs down and did finger coils and put one single French braid down the back. I wore that French braid for the rest of the week. The front I wore in the rope twist for a few days and then I did a rope twist out which kind of looks like dreads so I was really feeling that and then I did, a, I wore the twist out for a few days and then I decided to kind of rinse it to see what would happen. I didn't really agitate it and I didn't really use a lot of product. I just sort of ran water over it and kind of squeezed it a bit. Again, trying not to disturb whatever was going to happen. And what happened was coils. The rope twisting motion is sort of like doing single strand twist or finger coils and then twisting the hair. So what I had in essence were coils. And I wore the coils for a few days. Um, I had to kind of roll and pin the roots to get um, them to lie flat because the roots really fluffed up. Just probably the way I rope twisted it. I think I can I can do better next time. And uh, I wore the coils for a few days and then I did a coil out on Sunday. So that basically brings me back to Monday when I'm putting my hair back in the same style that I used to start the week of the same style but different slightly whenever I wanted because I could change the bangs and the hair accessories and it, and it looked fairly different depending on whether or not it was in twist or whether or not it was the coils or whether or not they had coiled out or I, I had done a twist out or the coils or the coil out but that was a lot of fun and I, I really did feel like I had crossed an important threshold in my journey when I was able to do that. Uh, the other thing was I need to, and this is a note to self, remember how I prepped my hair for a particular style. Which is why I started back with the same style that I was using to get the week long of the same hairstyle.
because when I use a different prep and expect to get the same hairstyle style out of it, it just doesn't work. Uh, for example, when I was going to the natural hair show, which I'll get to my haul in a minute, um, when I was going through the natural hair, going to the natural hair show, I wanted to wear an afro puff with afro bangs, sort of leaning to the side. I'll show you a picture. But I couldn't remember how I prepped that hair, so I just washed it and put it into French braids to let it dry. I knew the hair was dry-ish when I started on it. It wasn't completely dry, but I knew it was, it was pretty dry, and that's all I could remember. Well, it turns out it's very important how you prep the hair if you want to get the same style with natural hair, which is a new concept for me. Um, I had done that on blowout hair that I sprayed with water in order to get it to kind of compact down a little bit and be like a 60s fro look. And this time I was starting with a braid out from a French braid. So the ends were flattened and then I, so I unbraided them in the morning and it was chunky. But the ends were straight so I sprayed the ends with water and then they clumped together and they kind of curled, some of them. So now it's a straight end, kind of curled end, chunky fro that looked nothing like the fro I was going for. Long story short, the prep matters if you're trying to get a particular style. And again, that was new to me. So that was sort of an epiphany for me. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it. I, I just had a couple of milestones. I, I had an epiphany and I have a note to myself to remember how I prep the hair if I expect the outcome to be the same. So at the natural hair show, I didn't get a lot of products. I got a lot of accessories and jewelry and scented lovelies. And some of my purchases were motivated by the fact that I have a semi-formal event to go to very soon, in fact this weekend. So I got this necklace to wear with a dress that I have owned for many years. The folks at the event haven't seen the dress before, but I've seen it often enough that I didn't want to see it again as I had seen it before. So. I wanted very different jewelry to go along with the dress this time. So I got this. And it was just what I was looking for. I had been looking in stores for it, department stores for this necklace, for something along this line, and I couldn't find it. And in I walked to the natural hair show, and literally the first booth I went to, it was there. Uh, I also got myself a lovely little fascinator to wear. No also to the same event. Uh, the dress is red, but I got myself a fascinator in, in black and my necklace that I intend to wear with it. I also got some earrings that I just love. Let me take off one of the ones I'm wearing. purple and red. So I might be wearing it on the wrong ear. They actually have a right and a left side. But I just love this. And I got some essential oil and it's in a roll-on and I just kind of rolled it on my wrist. And it smells so lovely. I put this on in the morning and I can smell it at night when I take it off. It's, it's very concentrated, but it's not overbearing. It's a mixture of musk, geranium, and myrrh, which I find just scintillating. I also got myself a couple of t-shirts. Um, the other one says natural. This one says 100% natural, no lie. And I cut the shoulder out. If you notice, a lot of my t-shirts have the sh are one shoulder and that's because I augment them, but I haven't finished the edge on this one. I'm just going to roll it and put a couple of knots through there to keep it rolled. Uh, as for hair products, I actually did get one and it is Natural Visions Premium All Natural Hair and Skin Oil. It's a mixture of jojoba, shea butter, and rosemary. And 
while I was there, she sprayed a little on my hand at her booth, which admittedly was a little dry, and it absorbed right into my skin. And that's always something I look for in a hair oil. And when I sprayed it on my hair later on <clears throat> that night, it deepened the color almost as if my hair had been ashy. Um, it was uh, it was nice and it had a nice smooth buttery feel. I'm a big fan of shea oil, but you have to get the right one. And the one I loved before was in Canada, and they I couldn't get them to respond to my emails. And I tried sending them in two languages, still no response. Uh, as for freebies, the this bag came with the t-shirts if you bought one and one and I did and then there were others that I don't have in here that were uh, various samples um, probably about half of an ounce little tiny sample jars um, of various butters from the different vendors so that was it it was it was a nice event it was on the small side um, but they had music and there were probably about 15 vendors set up and at the end there was a fashion show which there were uh, several different designers for both men and women and and young people too probably like uh, teens or preteens and there were two dresses that were sort of vintage inspired that I just absolutely loved I I, I didn't get a program that described all of the vendors and all of the uh, designers for the fashion show because I got there a bit late. The event ran from 1 to 6 and I got there at about 2.30 and all the flyers were gone by the time I got there. But uh, that's it. Um, I think, yeah, I don't have any more updates right now. I